Hi guys, it's Ash. Today I'm sharing with you what's in my kids' stockings this Christmas. I have a son who's four, he'll be four and a half in January, and I have a daughter who will be 18 months right at Christmas time. So I tried to keep things pretty even and get them pretty similar things, but of course it's a little harder to find things for an 18 month old, whereas a four year old they're liking more things that are you know small and they can have more things that are small. So there are a few more things for my son, but basically we kept it pretty even and got them pretty much the same things. The first thing I wanna show you is the thing that's gonna be sticking out the top of the stocking, so they'll see that right away when they come out on Christmas morning to look. And I'm really excited about these. They're so soft. They're these little dinosaurs. Um, they're called the Little Jurassics. I got them at Target and they're by the Manhattan Toy Company. The little green Stegosaurus is going to be for Emerald. I love to buy her green things, of course, because Emeralds are green. And I also just really love this because Stegosaurus happens to be my favorite dinosaur. The blue one is for Harper, my son, because blue is his favorite color and T-Rexes are his favorite dinosaur. And I believe this guy is supposed to be a T-Rex. He has kind of the T-Rex's shape and the stubby little arms. So anyway, I think they're just gonna love these. I think they're adorable. So I'm really glad we have them. They're each getting a toothbrush in their stocking. That's kind of a family tradition. We always got toothbrushes in our stockings growing up and of course, it's something they need anyway, so I like to throw that in there and it's nice and skinny. It slides right into the stocking. We got a new spend brush for Harper, and for Emerald, we just got this two pack of the little baby toothbrushes. Another sort of traditional stocking filler that we picked up for them both are these socks. Um, we've got Minnie Mouse for Emerald and Mickey Mouse for Harper. They both are really, really into all the Disney characters, but particularly Mickey and Minnie right now. So I know they're going to love these. I got these at Baby Gap um, during one of their big sales that they had right around Thanksgiving. They're also each both going to receive some finger puppets. My son actually collects these little monster finger puppets. So I got him the three that I could find that he doesn't already have. So we've got this little guy here, this little guy, which... I think looks kind of vampirish, I don't know, and this guy, I, who knows what this is supposed to be. Anyway, I know he's gonna like these. He really likes to play with them with um, slime that we make with glitter glue. He likes to just kind of mash the monsters around in the slime and trap them in it and just whatever sensory sort of activities he likes to do with those. I know he'll be really, really happy to have some more of them. And for my daughter, this is something I probably wouldn't have picked out on my own. But when she saw this in the stocking stuffer aisle in Target, she immediately called out that she wanted it. She wanted to hold it. She kind of sang a little song about it. She was really sad when we had to put it back on the shelf to leave the store. So I did go back later and get this for her. And that worked out really nicely too, since we ended up getting the finger puppets for Harper. Then she could have these. They're a little chunkier. Um, she always likes to play with his little monster finger puppets, but I do worry because they're definitely that choking hazard size, and these are supposedly safe for babies, and they're a little chunkier, so, you know, these will be nice. And it says they can go in the bath, too, so that could be fun. And then they each got a little vehicle. For my son, we just did a new Mater. He had Mater already, and I think that he tried to tow something with Mater's little tow cable, and the tow cable broke, and that was one thing he told me that he wanted. And then for Emerald, we got this parade float um, Princess Tiana little person. I had been wanting to get this for a while, actually, since her birthday in May, because um, we got her the Little People Princess Castle, which she loves, and we also got her a big set of Little People Princesses, and it did not include Tiana, which I was kind of upset about, and so I'd been wanting to get her a Tiana for a while, and so now we finally did, and I'm also happy that it comes with this little, I guess it's supposed to be part of a parade of other princess vehicles, but I think she'll like just driving it around because she's actually really into cars as well. And then that is everything that I have for Emerald right now. If I see something else really good, I will grab it for her, but that's just all I have at this point, and it might be enough. I think that's really gonna fill the stocking pretty well. I do have a couple other things for Harper though. I have some little Grinch band-aids. We haven't actually seen the Grinch movie yet, 
but I know he's really excited to watch it. He loves all the other Grinches that he's seen and I'm thinking about maybe going with him sometime this holiday season. Anyway, I know he'll like these. And also just this Play-Doh candy cane, which he needs more Play-Doh. Most of his has gotten all weird and dried out, you know, how Play-Doh gets. So this will be good. And I love how it's in the candy cane shape to make it more festive to go in the stocking. We will be closer to Christmas time going to the grocery store and getting a few pieces of fruit, not the super standard fruit, something a little more exciting to put in there and probably some other edible type snacks as well. And there will be a little bit of candy. I think we'll, you know, throw a few little chocolates in there. I actually have a lot of Halloween candy left over and I'm kind of thinking about cheaping out and just fishing some Skittles and some M&Ms out of there and putting them in and, you know, as long as they're not in the Halloween wrappers, my son would never know. But I will probably get him some, like, a few little nice chocolates. So if I do find anything super exciting as far as the edible stuff that we get for the stockings or as far as anything else that I come across for Emerald, I'll definitely update in a future Vlogmas video if it's, like, something I think people would want to know about. But that is really the bulk of what's going to go in the stockings and I think that's going to fill them out really nicely. Our stockings are not enormous. So even this is going to be pushing it. I'm going to have to kind of cut the cars and a few other things out of their packages. And I thought I would show you our stockings really quick just so you can kind of see what I'm working with. Alright, thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you got some really good ideas for things to put in stockings if that's why you watch this video or, you know, for whatever reason you were watching, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel because as I'm sure you know at this point, if you didn't already, I'm doing Vlogmas, so I'm doing a new video every day through Christmas and I have some exciting things coming up like what did we get my kids for Christmas and other videos like that that I think if you're interested in a stocking type video you'll definitely want to see some other things that I have coming. So like I said go ahead and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.